One of the most provocative new ideas I've seen in the foundations of physics in the past 20 years or so is that gravity is not a fundamental interaction, but instead caused by the increase of entropy. It's called entropic gravity. But entropy of what? Well, today I have an interesting new paper that offers a possible answer and that might actually move the field forward. Let's have a look. That gravity is really caused by entropy sounds crazy at first, but the more you learn about gravity, the more plausible it becomes. Black holes, for example, can famously be described as thermodynamical objects with entropy and temperature. This is very perplexing because entropy and temperature really aren't quantities you expect to appear in Einstein's theory of general relativity, which is all about space-time and curvature and so on. Then in the 1990s, Ted Jacobson pointed out that there are more general circumstances, not just black holes, in which one can reformulate Einstein's equations as being laws of thermodynamics with entropy and pressure and so on. Fast forward 10 years and we have Eric Verlinde who derives Newton's laws from thermodynamics. Again, not full general relativity, but gradually getting closer. The analogy that Verlinde likes to use is that of some sort of materials made of long polymers that if you warm them up will contract, so they create an attractive force of sorts. Verlinde was very much inspired by shrinking sweaters, sorry, I mean string theory, but he never really explained just what is supposedly going on for gravity. The problem is, if you talk about entropy, you have to talk about entropy of something. In a gas, for example, it's the entropy of the motion of the gas molecules. We could also talk about the entropy of, say, chemical reactions in combustion engines or magnetic moments, but the entropy of what is causing gravity. The authors of the new paper now have come up with a concrete answer. They say, suppose that space is occupied by quantum bits with a spin, so lots of little arrows. We've talked about this idea a few times previously. It's the it from qubit program that everything, you, I, cheesecake, is somehow a quantum computer. Ah, wait. If cheesecake was a quantum computer, that'd explain why it disappears so quickly when observed. Hang on while I submit to nature. But to come back to gravity and the quantum bits, they now say that if a mass sits in this qubit environment, then that'll slightly align the directions of the spins. You see this in this image. Why? Well, that's the assumption that they make. If the spins are aligned, they are more ordered, so there is lower entropy around the mass. But the thing is now that if you bring two masses together, then the total volume in which the spins are aligned decreases. This means that the total entropy increases. So entropy increase will attract masses to each other. Then they show that this gives Newton's law. We talked about a similar idea a few months back, but there the maths didn't pan out. In this case, I think the maths is actually correct. The authors also say that if this idea is true, it makes some experimental predictions. Most notably, if what they say is correct, then gravity doesn't have quantum properties itself. Even if it comes about from qubits, it's an average, a bug effect. This means that the experiments looking for effects of quantum gravity could rule it out. They also say that this environment of qubits would lead to decoherence where we don't expect it. That said, I think one should understand their proposal as what physicists call a toy model and what in the startup business goes as proof of principle. This idea doesn't have all the symmetries that are required to recover Einstein's theory, so we know that it can't be correct. This is why I give this an 8 out of 10 on the bullshit meter. But 
it's a starting point that might have potential, and I'm curious to see if it's possible to further develop the idea. Most physicists seem to be very convinced that gravity is a quantum interaction similar to the other interactions in the standard model of particle physics. Its mediator particle is the hypothetical graviton. I've always found it rather perplexing that they are so sure about this. Personally, I'm undecided on the question of whether gravity is fundamental or emergent from something else. I really think the jury's still out on this one and each side has good arguments. And if gravity really comes from entropy, then my office is basically a black hole in the making. If you ever get the feeling that the news is more about storytelling than facts, Ground News is worth a look. Ground News is a news platform for people who value facts. They collect and summarize news, which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. Take, for example, this curious recent case of a solar energy plant in California that was closed because it failed to meet its output goals by a large margin. This wasn't covered by left-leaning media outlets. Like, not at all. Really tells you something about media bias, doesn't it? Ground News also gives you a factuality check for each news item, tells you who owns the media outlets, and shows you where the news has appeared. Ground News also has great feature called blind spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum. I found it to be super useful for checking whether a story is being blown out of proportion, ignored or distorted. And of course I have a special offer for you that's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use my link ground.news slash Sabina or scan the QR code so they'll know I sent you. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.